welcome back to my channel I'm letters for life where I encourage people through writing handwritten letters of encouragement today I'm gonna to be talking about the importance of journaling and writing I am so excited about this topic because I absolutely love writing obviously that's what my whole foundation is about people writing about what they need encouragement for it and I basically write them a handwritten free letter of encouragement so this is all down my alley I love it I love it I love it so if you're interested stay tuned and let's go ahead and hop into the video one benefit of journaling is that it releases the emotions of how you are feeling it may be releasing how um, things didn't go your way today it may be releasing different toxic traits it is literally like a stress relief it releases all types of toxic emotions from you it allows you also just to get out how you feel so sometimes it may be hard to communicate how you feel to somebody or how you feel about a situation but when you journal you're releasing it from you you're releasing it from your unconscious mind you're releasing it from your spirit and you're getting it out on paper so you can clearly see how you feel how you are interpreting what happened to you it's an amazing time for self-reflection um, and if you are looking at trying to boss up in your life journaling is definitely key to it i'm telling you another thing that i've noticed with journaling is that i'm able to sleep better so because i've released my emotions for the day if i journal right before i go to sleep i I tend to sleep better now i'm not perfect by any means so by no means am i saying i journal every single day but i've learned that when i do journal right before i go to sleep and i meditate right after like my sleep is out of this world i'll be knocked out <sighs> knocked out you hear me in 2.5 hot seconds so if you have what i call like racing thought syndrome or you're just like your mind is always going 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 try meditating before you go to sleep and also try coupling that with journaling and i'm telling you like your sleep will be so much better because you're releasing everything before you go to sleep instead of your mind having to replay what happened you're getting it out on paper before you go to sleep and it just allows for a better sleep quality the second thing that i absolutely love about journaling is that it reminds you of different stuff so we as humans we got a little amnesia sometimes we've been forgetting about how good god has been to us and journaling reminds you like baby you forgot you forgot you was a mess oh let me remind you baby because this is on paper form i know the old you like sometimes i be reading through my journals y'all baby who child some of that stuff i'm like girl you wrote this down now you should have kept that between you and the lord now some of that stuff i'd be like lord don't let this get on out now when my family go through this and my daughters go through this and my sons in the future i'd be like lord don't let them see that part now okay and literally I brought some of my journals out so that y'all can see I'm actually about this life. Like I'm not, I would never tell y'all something that I'm not doing myself. So these are like my journals. Now this ain't even half of my journals. I have a whole box, but I was not about to pull out that whole box. These are just some of the journals that were at the top, but literally y'all, it's just record on record on record of just everything. This one right here falling apart. See this? Y'all see this? This is what I wrote. I don't even this is what i wrote when i was 10 years old i don't know if the camera is picking up on it look y'all see my poem i said my poem y'all see my little drawing i know y'all see my drawing okay girl was about that artistic ability okay 10 years old full of poems and this doesn't necessarily have to do with journaling but poet poetry was really definitely important for me when i was growing up that was how i released everything that i was dealing with it brings me back to my core this reminds me to be humble when i look at this i'm reflective of how good god is and everything that i had to overcome but it reminds me of my my humble beginnings it reminds me of everything that god put in my life on purpose so that i can be the woman i am now i think this is so important for just anybody just to remind yourself you know just just take a moment and sometimes even when you take a moment and you think your mind can't even stretch back that far also it allows you to be humble and be grateful for what you do have it rolls into my third point journaling helps you to be grateful so when you look back at your old journals and you are just able to just journal in general you're grateful for the small thing sometimes when i don't really want to stay up super late journaling or super late writing a whole page full of journal what i would do is i'll just write two or three sentences today i'm thankful that i woke up this morning i had a really good day and that's it 
and I'll leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? So it don't always have to be like you're writing a whole page full of journal notes, but it can just be something simple. It just brings you back to your core. It reminds you of how grateful you are. And there's different types of journaling. I journal a lot for emotional support and for feelings, but there's another type of journaling that I do for business as well. This is one of my business journals. And in the business journal, I will write down different stuff that means a lot to me or things that I'm trying to get done in my business. So this section is for my book and I'll keep different ideas, different thoughts about my book. This one is for my stationery because I do want to start my stationery business. That's going to be launched next year sometime. This is different tips and ideas regarding my you know, my foundation, my business, everything like that. So there's different types of journaling. Yes, the most important one or the one that this video may be related to is emotional journaling, but don't ever feel like you can't journal in different type of ways. You need encouragement. Or you know somebody else who made the encouragement? Please write to my foundation, www.lettuceforlife.net, where I encourage people through writing handwritten letters of encouragement. As always, I love you, but most importantly though, God loves you. I will see you on my next video. Bye. Dream about it, I go get it. That's how I do it. Not in the stars, I'm not lucky. I just